Well, hello there, folks. A very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So today for you, you've got a very quick and very easy Chinese takeaway style beef curry. We love a curry, and in particular, a Chinese style takeaway curry. Oh, just we just love. You can make this with chicken if you prefer, but I'm going to show you the beef version today. So this is everything that I'm using, but as usual, all of the ingredients will be on the screen as I use them and also underneath the video in the description box. So I've got some Chinese style curry paste. I'm also using diced beef, warm water, a large onion which I've diced. I'm also using cayenne pepper and Chinese five spice. I've got some garlic paste or garlic puree, some coconut milk and then just a wee bit of flour as well. This is the curry paste that I'm using here. This is going to give you a lovely thick curry. You can use curry powder, but if you do, you'll find that you probably need to you know, add a wee bit of corn flour or something at the end just to thicken it up. But if you use something like this, you probably will not need to thicken it up. So I like to use something like this, but it's entirely up to you. This is the diced beef that I'm using. This is actually casserole steak, so it likes to be cooked for a long time. Or you could use steak or something like that, but yeah, that's not designed for the slow cooker. So get your flour into a bowl along with your beef and you just want to coat your beef in this flour. Just give it a wee stir round, add a dash of salt. Just keep stirring it round until your beef is coated in the flour and it starts to look a bit like um, Turkish delight actually. <laughs> so then you can set that to the side. We're going to get the sauce together. So into a jug, I'm adding 300 ml of boiling water. To that, I'm going to add my curry paste. I'm just following the instructions in the back of the pack. So you want to stir this until it's completely dissolved into the water and then you can add your other ingredients. So I'm now going to add the coconut milk. This is full fat coconut milk. So in that goes as well. Again, you just want to give this a good stir around until it's well combined. And if you do this right, you'll end up with about a pint of your curry sauce base. And to this, I'm going to add the cayenne pepper and also the Chinese five spice. I think the five spice just gives it, you know, that wee bit something extra, gives your sauce a lovely authentic sort of Chinese takeaway flavor. I like a really spicy curry, but if you don't, you might want to watch how much cayenne pepper you use because it's very, very spicy. To this, I'm going to add the garlic paste again. Just give this a good stir round until it's combined. That's your sauce done. Now we're going to sear the beef. So go over to your pan. Make sure your pan is nice and spitting hot. I've added some olive oil and I'm just going to let this sear for a few minutes on each side until it starts to go quite caramelised and brown looking. This is going to protect your beef, but it's also going to, you know, thicken your gravy or help to thicken your gravy at the end. So I always like to do my beef this way if I'm adding it to the slow cooker. Plus it gives it more flavour and more colour as well. So just do this for a few minutes until it's looking something like this, then you're good to go. All we have to do now is throw everything into the slow cooker. So I'm using a two and a half litre crock pot because I always get asked that. Yeah, it is a crock pot and it's the two and a half litre version. So pop your beef in to the bottom of the slow cooker. I'm also going to add one onion, which I've just peeled and roughly diced. This is quite chunky onion because you don't want it all disintegrating completely. And then pop your curry sauce on the top. Give it a wee stir around just to make sure it's nicely combined. And we're just going to pop the lid on and that's you. You can cook this on low or on high. If you're going to cook it on high, I would give it about three and a half hours. On low, you can give it about four or five hours. But just keep coming back once in a while. Give it a wee stir just to make sure it isn't sticking to the bottom of your slow cooker because this is quite a thick sauce. It has a tendency to do that. So just do come back even once or twice during the cooking process and you'll have something that looks like this at the end. The last thing I'm going to do is add some frozen garden peas because I like garden peas in a curry. If you don't like peas in your curry, then obviously you can stop at this point and you can serve with whatever you like. But I am going to add the peas. 
So these are just straight from the freezer, garden peas. And all you really need to do to these is warm them through. Or that's all I like to do is warm them through. I don't like to overcook these because they just go mushy and not very nice. I like them with still a wee bit of bite in them. So I'm just going to stir these into the sauce and give it another five minutes with the lid on. And this will be ready to serve just like this. And I was really happy with this. It was so tasty, let me tell you. And we just had some plain long grain rice at the side. That's that curry there. And the beef was fall apart tender as well. You wouldn't have needed a knife or anything with this. It just fell apart in your mouth. And of course, we've got to have a few chips as well. So do let me know if you're planning on giving that one a go because I do get a lot of requests, you know, because we have curries quite a lot in our Sunday meals of the week and folk are always asking for the sort of takeaway recipe. So hopefully you'll have a go at that one. But just before I leave you, I wanted to say as usual, a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe on Thursday back on Saturday for our shopping and bagging or back on Sunday for our family meals of the week but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's for Tea. Bye now.